Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So my hair has been crazy. It's been like five months since I last relaxed with it. I think almost six months. And I can't even comb it. Like I just hate when I can't comb through my hair because it just stresses me out. So right now I'm going to town. I'm going to get a relaxer to come and relax it. Then I'm just gonna get food stuffs from town. I'm gonna go to the African shop and go get Indomie. It has a leave-in conditioner, then it has a bounty kill spudding, and then this, these are the instructions. Obviously, I don't know how to do it, but let's just take it. Hey guys, so I'm done perming my hair. I think I bought the wrong relaxer because I don't think it did the job. Yeah. I want to blow dry it, but I just feel lazy. <laughs> I'm feeling lazy. There's this huge pimple on my face. I don't know why these days I'm like literally having pimples all, all over my face. But yeah, I feel like pimples are like stages. It would eventually be yeah so i kind of get dms on instagram saying oh i want to travel what do i do i want to travel how much oh i'm traveling but my visa is taking a long time to come what do i do guys relax okay relax i know from outside or from other countries coming to uk coming to the us going any other country that is abroad it's like a big deal and i'm not saying it's, a, it's not a big deal it's yeah it's an opportunity to go across the world and see other countries but like relax okay it's fine i was watching um apostle selman is it apostle joshua selman and he was like greener pastures is not a country having a great life is not a country having a great life is not you Having a great life is not you moving continents to be great. If you're meant to be great, you can live in Ghana and still be great. If you have something in Ghana that you are doing, continue doing it. And if the time comes and you want to, you get the opportunity to travel, great. But don't base your whole life, your whole narrative on if I don't leave Ghana, if I don't travel to the UK, if I don't travel abroad, I have not made it in life. You have made it in life in Jesus' name the uk you come even school it takes it's so hard to even get to university like what is this i went to college i wanted to go i i got into uni and then they are saying yeah you haven't stayed here for three years so you are not entitled to student loan you have to pay for your fees by yourself and they were demanding 65 percent of the fees which is six thousand something something um pounds that is a lot of money bro and in Ghana, you get so much support from your parents and stuff. But here, it's like most of the burden is on you. Everything is on you. And even if you get a job or you want to get a job, most of these jobs require you to do so much. You have to stand for so many hours. Ghana jobs are even flexible. You get to sit. Like, bro, let us not just 
through the um, comfort and the happiness our country has okay Ghana is a great country if you don't enter and you don't experience it for yourself no matter how many times people tell you you'll be like oh but you're still there i'm still here because i've spent three years here now like if i come to ghana the system is different i don't even know how to start because i've been here for a while so i'm just adapting here and most of the times when i come to ghana everything is just so new to me and i have to like adapt again but if you're already there keep doing what you're doing don't stress yourself okay you will not you will not die hey guys so i'm about to install my wig i just don't like my hair being out most of the times it's out and i just i don't i can't be combing it i can't be combing it each and every time and i try relaxing it but i obviously bought a wrong relaxer so So guys, this is how it looks flat and blow dried. So I'm about to put the cornrows on. We're just gonna do a lens check quickly to see if we have, we have any curls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It goes across my face. Yeah, so. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a couple of days since you guys last saw me.
your bitch back. Calm down, she could be who was never say that. I don't want pipe down, better get paid back. I'ma tell me never see where you lay at.